Have you ever tried to shoot a beautiful moon with an iPhone? You probably were disappointed to get a shot similar to this, which doesn't really show the details human eyes could clearly perceive. The reason for this is the camera, while trying to take a correct exposure of the night sky, is overexposing the moon and blowing out the details in the process. The good news is you can take nice moon shots, but only if you take manual control of the iPhone's camera settings. In this video, we're going to look at three options to capture the moon. The first option is to use the default camera app. This option is the most limited and best used when there isn't much contrast between the moon and the sky, which you can get if you shoot in twilight or dawn. To demonstrate, I'll open the camera app. Annoyingly, the camera is defaulting to night mode, which is over brightening the sky and not what we want. I'll toggle it off. I'll pinch to zoom. I'll manually reduce the exposure by long tapping and dragging downward. Unfortunately, as you can see, the app is limited in the amount of exposure that can be reduced. As this is not working, let's move on to the second option. The second option is to use a manual camera app like Lightroom Camera. The benefit of this app is unlike the default camera app, Lightroom allows for more manual control, although it does take a bit more work and requires a few more steps. To use it, from the Lightroom library, I'll open Lightroom Camera. I'll switch to Telephoto. I'll zoom in to the moon. Currently, the ISO is set to Auto. I'll tap on ISO. I'll move the slider to set the ISO to the lowest value. Next, I'll increase the shutter speed until it gives a correct exposure, where the details of the moon are clearly visible. I'll take the shot. So as you can see, with a manual camera app, you can get a better result. Finally, let's look at the third option via our partner app, Aura HDR8. Aura HDR8 camera has a new feature to allow for shooting the moon with as little as two steps. To demonstrate, I'll switch the shooting mode to Moonshot, which is the dedicated mode to capture the moon. I'll switch the lens to Telephoto, if you have one. Alternatively, you can use the main camera. I'll zoom in close to the moon with a slider. I'll tap the shutter. And that's it. Four exposures will be saved into the camera roll. Just pick your preferred exposure. In this case, the third looks best. So I hope you found this video helpful. Do support the channel by getting the Aura HDR8 camera app on the App Store now with Moon Shooting. It's the best app for computational photography. See you in the next video.